Well, hi there, players. I'll have a sore finger again with you. Thanks, Steve, for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is part two of uh, a lesson I'm doing on uh, Crowded House Don't Dream It's Over by a uh, solo version by the lead singer uh, Neil Finn. Okay, um, standard tuning, capo second fret. Okay, uh, as, as part one. Uh, part one was the intro, the verse, and the chorus. Okay, so this is part two, which is just the uh, instrumental part that he plays in this middle of this particular version. Okay, so um, basically, it comes out of uh, the second chorus uh, where it goes. Um, <clears throat> goes into this. third verse, something like that, okay? It's not quite the same, but it's fairly close, okay? So what he's doing there, basically, is after he comes out of the uh, second chorus, he ends up on that F major seventh, uh, where it goes, we know they won't win. And they will win. This time he doesn't go to the G at the end of that bit, he just stays on the F major seventh. No, we will win. And he does this. That's the start of it. And basically, what he's doing is C chord, and he's basically hammering that second open fourth string to second fret fourth string, along with the G open G. Then he's playing the open fourth string on its own, so it's then the open third string, so it's. So it's like, a, so, and at the same time you, you're you're strumming at the same time. It's and then you end up on the third on the fifth again. See, okay, okay, open fourth, open third, third on the fifth. go down third to second on the fifth third on the fifth to the second on the fifth second on the fourth okay and then into an open a fifth string and with the f major seven okay but using the a note fifth string okay so so far we've got And then we go and we go from second on the fifth to third on the fifth, open fourth. Okay, and then we play an E chord hit that second on the fifth. Or E7, you could play E7 as well. E7 might be better actually. So just as long as you hit that note there. Okay, so so far. I think it's I think it's just those Okay, so let's do that again. Okay. And then we 
we do this. Second on the fifth, second on the fifth, open fifth, fourth on the sixth from the capo, open six. Okay, so so far. Okay, let me go back to the first part again with the C. And then instead of playing that, like we did the first time, we play open fifth string and A minor. And then you can hammer that finger in as well if you want that first finger on the second string. Okay, so so far then we've got this. So let's do it again slowly for you. Second string, so open second string, first fret second string, back to open third second string, second on the third, open third, and then third on the fourth. I'm not sure what, quite what he does there, but I think that's quite nice. So, so that's basically. I'm, put, I'm doing that. So that's, when you hit that third on the fourth, second on the third. Open second strings. So and then hammer up from the second on the fourth to the third on the fourth. Open third string. E chord and then hammer into that suspended fourth position with the pinky on the second fret of the third string. Okay, and then into a C. Into the third verse then, it goes down. Now I'm walking home again, to the beat of a drum and all that sort of thing, okay? So, let's do that. It's a bit hard to show you this, but let's, let's try that again in slow motion, okay? So after it comes out of that second chorus on the F major 7, we know they won't win. So that's as close as I can tell you, really. Um, so listen, to, listen to the the um, or watch and listen to the actual performance, and try and put that together. Okay, um, it's not the easiest thing, but. Uh Okay, 
something like that, something along those lines. Okay, give you something to work on. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching this in, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson.